Come join me as I shop in the beauty section at Bed Bath & Beyond. So I picked up the Knot Doctor for Conair. This is a wet and dry detangler brush. And then I also picked up the Conair Lift and Section. This has three different combs on it, and one of them is a detangler. So then I was looking for the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Sunscreen that I got a trial size in my Allure box this month. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. But they didn't have it. So instead, I got the CeraVe sunscreen. So my new addiction is Kiss Press on Nails. If you haven't tried them, they are simple and amazing. So after standing there forever and picking up nails and putting them back down and picking them back up, I finally decided to go with this baby blue set of nails and then this product called glue off that's supposed to take your nails right off without having to soak them in acetone so if you want to see me testing out the brush and the comb on my snarly hair and see if they work then first subscribe and then sit on back relax have a laugh and i hope you enjoy this video so this brush really intrigued me um, it's a detangler brush that you can use on wet or dry hair. So we're gonna we're gonna see on my hair if it is going to detangle it and if it's going to be painless. Now this brush was $14.99, which is kind of a lot for a brush, um, especially when my children are constantly losing the brushes. So it's like you go open to the drawer to brush your hair. And there's not a single brush or comb when yesterday we had 10 of them in the drawer. So they better not be losing this $15 brush. So it comes with this nice travel case. So it has a zipper. So let's see what, what it's going to be like. Okay. The bristles are kind of flimsy. So I don't, I don't know if this is going to go through my hair or not. We'll see. Okay, so my hair, let's get a little further back, is good and tangly. So let's see if this brush is going to work. Here we go. Okay. Okay. It's kind of going through. Not really now. Now we're going to... Stuck. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Okay, there we go. Well, I will say it was a little tough, but it did not hurt. So, one section done. So, it's kind of tough. Again, I'm pulling really hard. It doesn't hurt at all. But it's definitely not super easy. Okay. Next chunk. Arms are getting tired, so definitely a lot of work. Your hair is very tangly and thick, but I got lots of hair coming out. But again, it was not it was not painful at all. And definitely, I would say if you have thick hair, do it in layers. Is this, these bristles <laughs> will not be 
um, going through your whole head of hair. Okay, so we're gonna test this on Alana and see how it works on her hair. How's it feeling so far? Good. When we brush your hair, a lot of times you cry because it hurts so bad. Uh -huh. But this doesn't hurt, does it? Yeah. It does or doesn't? It doesn't. Okay. There we go. So there you have it. This brush might actually not be so bad. So on Alana's hair, she didn't cry. So that's, that's pretty good. So normally every morning she wakes up and it's like, what, what'd you do in the night? Why do you have 20 big gobs of snarls in your hair? And so then we gotta try and brush it out and then tears start flying cause it hurts so bad. But she didn't cry at all with this. So, and I would agree. No pain at all. So the next thing that I thought was neat was this comb. This is by Conair and it has three different sides. So this one is again a detangler. So we'll see. This side is a smoothing and this side is for volume. So not going to use this side because <laughs> I've definitely got enough volume. So we're going to test out these two sides and see. So let's try out the detangler. Now again, my hair is Pretty much detangled, but let's see how it works. Oh, so it's gonna stir again. Okay, now we're starting to get through. Oh man, well, maybe I know where my daughter's hair comes from with the snarls. I mean, I just combed it with the other brush. And now, now it's all snarly again. <laughs> and I didn't do anything but sit here. Okay, well. Oh man, this is the deal. I'm working up a sweat here. Even more snarls towards the end. And now I'm just gonna uh, rat's nest. Uh, uh. Okay, not so sure that's working. Let's go back to this thing. <laughs> See if I can get these snarls out. <laughs> okay, so. There we go. So I'm not so sure that the snarling side works. So now I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and we're gonna try the smoothing side for when I do this top part. So first we're just gonna kind of use this to get most of the hair back. Now, if you haven't seen any of my bun videos, go watch those, but now you know why I always have my hair up in a bun, because oh, this is a lot of work. Okay, so it looks like one snarly mess. But let's test out the smoothing. So, it's got very sharp teeth. So if your head's ever itchy, take this and it's gonna scratch your head very nicely. So it's gonna get way deep into that scalp and grab those hairs. Okay, so I will say that side 
does pretty good. It smooths the hair so you can see that it gets way deep down into the scalp and makes the hair nice and smooth. So this brush is decent. It definitely is painless and it definitely does get the snarls out. Uh, but I was just hoping that I could just easily brush my hair and poof, snarls be gone. So not quite the case, but it still did the job. If you were looking to put more snarls in your hair, then this comb is for you. So this comb's terrible. The only thing it's good for would be scratching your head. Thank you for watching as I struggled to brush my hair. If any of you know of any product that is amazing and is something that you can shout from the mountaintops of, this is the best brush ever, then put in the comments down below and let me know what it is. And as always, have a blessed day. Remember Jesus loves you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.